Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. This video is about a matter of concern now and that is monkeypox virus. So I have been getting a request from uh, my subscribers regarding discussion on monkeypox virus. What is monkeypox virus? Uh, how monkeypox virus is spreading and should we concern about monkeypox virus at all? So all this question will be answered in this video. So stay tuned and watch it come. So the very first things first, uh, in very simple terms, I'm going to say whether it's going to be a matter of concern. The, the answer is yes, it can be a matter of concern because this monkeypox virus is endemic to African regions. There are few African countries uh, where this monkeypox virus is endemic. That means it causes infections uh, annually in different places, particularly uh, it includes uh, Nigeria and also it includes Ghana. So these are the two places where we find near about 3000 to 5000 cases every single year with monkeypox. But now this virus is being spreading from African country, particularly the Central Africa and West African region to 12 different other countries. And those 12 other countries, we have more than 100 cases right now. And that raises the matter of concern. Now, the first thing for, first is what is monkeypox virus? See, monkeypox virus belong to a family known as poxiviridae. Poxiviridae family of viruses include smallpox virus. So you know smallpox virus is similar to that of the monkeypox virus. And these viruses, that is monkeypox virus, it is a DNA virus. So it has double stranded DNA as a genetic material. Okay. And this kind of viruses, particularly the poxiviridae family viruses, they have a reservoir and the reservoir here is the primates, uh, the, for example, mammals. So mammals are, particularly the primates are the reservoirs. And in this case, the reservoir here, is monkey so suspected reservoir is monkey so we call it, we are calling it monkeypox there are sometimes also such suspected reservoir can be dog or other uh, animals other vertebrates and also some sort of primates like monkey or chimpanzee like that so that's why it's called as a monkeypox virus so now we are going to talk about the symptoms of monkeypox virus so what happens in monkeypox virus very similar to that of the smallpox cause blisters in the skin throughout the body in different locations along with that it has fever along with that it has muscle ache and headache these are the common complications that are associated with monkeypox virus now what is totally different about monkeypox virus than the smallpox is that in monkeypox virus the lymph glands of our body swells up which is known as lymph adenopathy as per medical terms so lymph adenopathy is something which is unique to monkeypox uh, which is not present in case of smallpox viral infection. And whenever the symptoms start to begin, generally the fever starts and after three to four days of the fever, uh, the blisters start coming out. And these blisters are ugly and filled with all these uh, viral particles. It can spread from person to person at that time frame. And that can be really, really dangerous. So that's why it's very difficult to find out exactly when it started. When now we know that this disease has spread over 12 different countries, we can make sure one thing that this disease is being spreading for more than a year or two years ago because we can never be sure how fast it's spread because the spread is slow lengthy process of delivery and after uh, the delivery generally once this symptoms start to show uh, these symptoms will stay there and the viral particles will stay there in the body and can actively be spread from the infected person to a normal person even up to 24 weeks yes 24 weeks so this disease is going to be there for 24 weeks. Although the blisters may be gone, uh, although your uh, headache and fever and all those uh, symptoms may be gone, but you will be capable of spreading this infection. You will be capable of spreading the virus to, from you to another healthy person up to 24 weeks. Now imagine 24 weeks. Okay. So that means six months approximately. So long after you get, you're getting cured from this infection, you're still capable of spreading it and that makes it really horrible if it starts spreading at a large scale although the spreadability is less because the visibility of the infection is very high so we can see it from outside so automatically we can isolate that person and we can prevent it so isolate isolation and preventive measures can be taken all right so what should we do now regarding the monkeypox virus the answer to that is uh, we need to move cautiously because uh, recently we came out of this COVID and still not completely over yet because new sporadic infections will come and go as we mentioned earlier. 
so right now with another virus who is extra cautious this time and also as it's being spreading into different european countries uh, the head of the who from the european uh, side they are always being plan and uh, to prevent it further so obviously we need to do rigorous screening and particularly anybody coming from africa these endemic places and also the places where the new infection found in all those 12 different countries anyone is traveling there and is coming back we need to do a proper screening and testing uh, to find out if there is any infection of the uh, in an individual because we we need to stop it uh, from entering into our country because this disease is very much uh, uh, endemic to the african country particularly the uh, countries that we discussed earlier so it should be endemic to that place it should not spread from that place to the other because in those places of the central africa and western african countries uh, generally when this disease is manifested when this disease is found one out of 10 affected individual uh, has a high chance of death so one out of 10 so 10% chance of death uh, among the individual incurred the virus so we need to understand the 10% death rate is really big and even far more than the covid-19 itself so so what we need to do we need to have a proper cautious measure uh, when traveling to different uh, international uh, places and also uh, proper screening and everything needed but right now in india we didn't uh, we don't need to worry too much about it uh, and but again uh, we need to screen people in the airport level and also if anything suspicious found we need to initiate the we need to initiate the isolation and treatment process that should be maintained now the final so here we can clearly see the who received reports of 92 confirmed and 28 suspected monkeypox cases from 12 different countries as i am making the video on 26th of may 2022 so here you can see the places uh, in canada 5 in us 5 total 10 and germany also uk france portugal spain italy israel sweden and australia so in this european countries just all these european countries together 30 uh in the america total american canada 10 and australia 5 these are the total number of cases right now spreading in particularly they all started somewhere from the africa particularly center central africa and western african places okay this is as of may 23 2022 that's the report this number may grow up in the upcoming weeks because this is the condition of monkey pox throughout the body the blisters will come up like this okay So that's all about monkeypox virus and monkeypox virus infection. And if there is anything new coming about, uh, coming out about the monkeypox virus, we'll be discussing about that in this channel as well. So that's all about it. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they get to know about monkeypox virus in details. And thank you. Uh, subscribe to this channel and mention in the comment section regarding uh, your take on monkeypox virus in India. Thank you. Bye.